In this video, we'll see how to run Calibre real-time in the custom design environment. My name is Srinivas Valiwala, a TME for Calibre interfaces. In this section, we'll see how to set the result viewing option with real-time so that we see all the DRC errors. Now I open the cell XOR underscore demo and once I open the cell in Laker, I launch a Calibre real-time run. Now real-time has finished and told me that there are three results which are generated. So what I do is highlight the first result and once I click on the result region you can see it's a simple metal 4 spacing error. So now I zoom out a bit further and I see a metal 4 piece hanging. So what I do is highlight all the results and once I move over the result region I can see that these are line end metal 4 violations which are caught with real time because they are in a sign off caliber tag. So now I change my layer visibility such that I only have my metal 4 layer visible and I go and actually stretch my polygon to fix a real time error. Now once I make the change you can see that only one of the line in violation is shown and the other line in violation which was supposed to be here doesn't show up. So I then open my options dialog and the reason is that I have my results viewing option set to context only in which I made the edit. So I change that to whole cell and then now you can see on the toolbar that there are two results present and if I highlight them I get back the two highlight markers. So now I delete this metal 4 polygon and my cell is DRC clean. In this section we'll see how to use Calibre real time when creating devices such as transistors in layout. Notice that as soon as I instantiate the transistor the error count is changed to 10. That's because I have just started creating my transistor. Since the transistor is in its initial stage of creation, any edit I make to the diffusion, anvil, poly and contact layers will cause a DRC violation in the layout. So it's a good idea to turn off the run DRC and edit option so that I do not get the immediate feedback whenever I make an edit to the transistor. So I go ahead and turn off the run DRC and edit option so that I don't get immediate feedback as I edit the layout and then I make edits to the instantiated magic cell transistor so that I fix the DRC violations. Once I am done with my edits, I click on the run DRC option on the toolbar and now you see that there are three results. So I turn my run DRC on edit option back again and now as I edit the layout, you can see that I get immediate feedback and the error count is now changed to zero. In this section, we'll see how to run real time on large designs. Now I'm going to run real time on a large design. So I open up the large block in Laker and then I click on run DRC. Notice that as soon as I click on run DRC, real time pops a warning message saying that a soft geometry count of 50,000 has been exceeded and it asks me whether I want to continue launching the job or not. So I click no on this dialog to close the dialog. Real time can be run on large designs but by zooming into a part of the large design. So I zoom into a small part of the large design and launch a DRC job and now you can see that there are two DRC results that are generated. So I turn on the layer visibility in Laker so that I only have the metal 5 layer visible and then I zoom into the region where the errors are present. So I select the polygon uh, which I want to change to fix error and I can see that the, the polygon is in a lower level cell called FIR. So I go ahead and launch to run DRC job again which generates the two results now at this lower level cell. So I select both the polygons at the same time and move them down to fix the DRC violations and you can see that the DRC results are now fixed. So I go back to the top level again and now click on run DRC again which tells me that I have cleared the DRC results at the top level as well. Now let's go back to the real-time warning dialog and see how we can change the default 50,000 geometry polygon count limit and set it to an optimum number. So I click no on this dialog and then I open the options dialog where I can change the soft geometry limit. You can see that by default the soft geometry limit is set to 50,000. I can change it to any number between 1 to 3 million but to ensure interactive run times it is recommended that you keep the number to no larger than 500,000 shapes. So let's summarize what we have seen in today's video. You have to set your results viewing option to whole cell filter by current recipe to ensure that you see all the DRC violations. You have to turn off your run DRC on edit option during initial stages of device creation to avoid seeing too many DRC errors. Real time is an interactive tool to be launched on small and medium sized design windows. And finally, you can run real time on large designs by zooming into a part of the design to ensure that you always see interactive runtimes. 
Thank you and I hope that this video was helpful to you.